close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Without wasting much of our time, let's start with today's tutorial. Click on graphic skills with creativity. Good evening designer. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been amazing. Great. Today I want to show you how to make a professional logo on your Android smartphone using PC Lab. Without wasting much of our time, there is a lot to learn here. Because I'm going to show you step by step how you can start a particular logo from the scratch till the end. The steps that it will take you to achieve this, I'm going to show you. And the uh, good news there is i'm going to explain step by step how you can present such a logo on your on the mock-up using your android smartphone with the help of uh, i mean with the site of a uh, photo pay without wasting much of our time as i said let's start let's determine the size we want to use i want to use youtube banner size which is 2560 and 1440 you can see this is YouTube banners channel banner. So having determined that the next thing we are going to do is to go to our tools and type crown because I want to design a crown logo. So as you can see, I've done this. Then I have to determine the kind of uh, font I'm going to use. Now I have I want to use the same crown font because that is a crown font. So I'm using a crown font and this is how it will look at the end of the day. There's no any magic in this. So after you can expand to your own desire, I mean increase the size. So I like the size, size the way it was like this. The next thing is to continue and uh, importing. I mean the crown. I want to use this. Don't mind the color because I'm going to still uh, apply a texture. I want the crown to fit in here. Are you getting it? I want the crown to fit in very well. So I don't want any boot. It's okay like this. Now I need some little write up. I need some little write up. So I have to delete this. Then EST means established once you write establish then i need a different font for this and the font i'm going to use is faga it's faga type face font then bold it faga type face font then after that click ok then you centralize after that then use the movement move by 20 let it stand out like that copy then edit 2021 2021 20, 2021 20, then you can actually move this to this size remember it is the same size that's why I copy then you can move it like this the font is not really okay the way you want you can actually change it i have another font in my mind that's what i'm thinking of changing it and that one will be time let me see yes i've seen it so i provide this font and for this one it means i'm going to delete this then copy this so after I copy this this will now be EST establish dot then click OK move it down like this 
Then after moving down, don't forget to use your relative position. Then increase the size. Remember, it can be the same size. I mean, because of the alphabet there. So after this, then use your relative position to make sure that they are both rhyme and getting it. So what we are going to do now, I want to make this one closer a little bit. I want to make it closer so three is okay let me look at the size of this the size is 40 let me look for this this is 45 and if you look at it even the face they are not but i want to reduce this to 43 so after that the next thing for me to do is to match everything together i want to match them together so i'll look at this nearly ready then i will go to my texture then locate the kind of texture i want to use golden texture i think i should use this so this is where a little work started i want to rotate this like this let me still rotate let me let me rotate again i think i should try this then click ok can you see can you see so i want to do it like this so can you see so i intentionally make the color divided into two i mean the uh, uh texture to divide into two so that is the, what i the logic behind that i use my skill i scale it in such a way that the texture divide bring two different color the lighter one and the deeper one so the lighter one is at the top while the deeper one is uh i mean the lighter one is at the bottom while the deeper one is at the top so it will make it more presentable and more attractive so after that you save your logo with transparent okay now this photopi www.photopi.com if you are newbie or you are watching my video for the first time, you are lucky because I want to explain how you can use this particular site, website on your Android smartphone to present any kind of markup. The first, first of all, the first thing you must have before you can thought of or think of coming here to present your logo in a marker you must have what we call the psd file and psd file what do i mean by that psd file is a template i'm not talking about a template it's like uh let me say um uh, a format a format that you can use to present your design are you getting it and i can give it another to my own level of understanding i can say is it is like an uniform uniform that you can use to present your design because if another person can use it another person can use it and in this way you can use it but what will be different there is what is your design will be different but you can use the same markup and getting it that is what i mean by psd file so after you download it the next thing you will do is to extract it if you know how to extract fonts you are good to go Extract it the way we normally extract the fonts. It's the same process. But what really matter or make it to be differ is what is this. Our font, we can download it to any places. It will definitely locate it on our PC lab. But the cases of markup is quite different. You can't just download your markup on your phone without monitor where it's been downloaded to. If you do that, you will find it difficult whenever you are running your design on the photo p if you want to import it there will be an issue and if you are even be the type that you don't normally familiar with your phone and uh, in and out of it it will be very difficult for you to bring it out so you need to extract it and know where you extract it to or better still just find a way and create a folder like my own i will show you i use one just because of this tutorial and i put the design the mock up there so without too much talk let's proceed click on open from my computer click on file then locate where the mock up is it's inside my phone and you see it's this one because that is what i use 
and I've opened it, you see Shop Facade logo markup. And that is the name of the markup I'm going to use. So now the markup is running. It's running. I have to wait a little bit. It won't take much time like with the markup, but it take a little bit time too. Unlike the other markup, I do run faster. Although all this, some people said it has to do with network and all this thing, but I don't believe in that shit anyway. So it's done already. Now go down and you see your design here, double tap. Just double tap it. After double tap it, don't hide the design directly like this because this is a place order. And look at what they wrote place order, place order. It means many things are there. This is a folder, it's not ordinary layer. And you see it there. So if you bring your own design to it, it will be inside this folder. But just hide the two design that is inside the folder. Don't hide your whole folder. Otherwise, there will be a problem. Now click on file, click on open and place, click on file again, then bring out your design, import your design. After your design is being imported, then you see there are some handle icons that surround it. Hold one, any one of it, then zoom it out, move it up like this, still zoom it out a little bit. So once you are able to zoom it out to your own taste, what you will do is that just put it at the center, it has what we call a grid, and the grid will hold it. When it got to the center, it will, it will, it will, it will grip it, and you will can feel it even with your hand, and it will position to the center. After you are, must have succeeded in placing it very well, click on file and click on save with smart objects. And this is the area where you have to exercise patience, even if it is for a week. I mean, sorry, if it is for. Or, or, or a minute or two minutes or three minutes not a week oh, sorry so if it is for a, a minute or two minutes you have to try uh, uh, exercise patience here and we are not just transforming our logo alone our design we are editing it professionally that is another thing if you are watching you are lucky because i will show you this particular design i'm really interested in it in this uh, markup so that at least i've found it that many people are not using the markup it's very scanty they are using all those uh, and i'm using the two gig ram to run the markup and it's run it successfully i'll try it it's work that's why i'm trying at least to share it to people to watch so you can see the logo is faster when we design it very faster and very unique so after that after clicking on it you have to be waiting just wait and another thing i want you to understand is what we call a buffer what is buffer buffer is just a normal term yeah? it's normal term that we normally use when it comes to uh, uh information uh, uh, technology so and what do i mean by the whenever you are searching anything on google if you always pay attention you discover that you say it's done i'll still talk about that it's done can you see so what we're going to do now is to go down go down so you can see let me before i go down you see there is a texture there is a texture with this or uh, another texture because this is not my original texture I have to hide the, and this is what they call template because what they used to design it, everything will come along with it. And you look at the texture, sure. I have to hide it. I hide the texture. So I have to wait until it fits. You see, it fits. It can't just hide immediately. After that, I will come to intrusion. Open the folder. Once you tap, just wait. Are you getting it? good let me see let me look at it let me look at the design itself so look at it that it is not bringing the color that i used before and what i will do is this let me go down i'm looking for where i will adjust them So I'm looking for a way to adjust them. I'm coming. Let me hide this and look at it. No. 
so come to intrusion again i've already hide one let go to multiply of multiply let check it's not really sure it's not showing so let open your design here let open the folder and check so i've click on it so you see gradient overlay hide it hide the gradient overlay and let's check under your design so when it's it's we'll open it then we we'll check it so you see gradient overlay i've i've can you see i've uh, uh hide it then click ok to be back i mean click on that downward arrow to close it then you move it up you see we are getting it and what did i do i just come directly i don't tamper with anything what i did is that your design here you see there are some there is one arrow in front and each each of all this is getting an arrow called if that is effect because there is no more space on the screen that's why i shot it then you see an arrow in front of you when you click it many options are there on each each then you see and when you see over overlay it means the the you have your original color before then before you brought in uh, your design then this is i mean the mock-up is already having its own color so overlay means it it plays the template color the psd color on top of your own color so there is a particular color that comes along with your psd file so placing it already replace your color that's why when you overlay off it, it won't what it won't affect it again. Then it will bring out your color. And as you can see, it's just as simple as this. It's just as simple as this. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to continue learning new skills in graphics, please keep on watching my channel for amazing tips and tutorial like this. And if you are having any issue, don't forget just my number is at the DM. Feel free to, uh, 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 to test me or to WhatsApp me. Wherever you can, anytime you can do that, I'm always available. If I don't reply on time, I will within ten minutes. I will be online. I don't. I always be online. I will be able to, I mean, respond. So just click on your file. The work is done. Then click on export. Then tap on PNG. Then you wait for your result to be imported out. So it's just as simple as this. Wait for the results. So click on save. Then you bring a uh, download. Then click on download. So it's downloading. Then open. Click on open. Let's look at the results. Let's look at the results. So the result is very okay. You see crayon, which is very, very uh, simple. Thanks for watching. God bless you.